Road tripping Saturday afternoon, and uh, we went to our favorite spot by the lake. And since it's kind of chilly out, I figured I'd sit and do some crochet because that's like my favorite thing to do. Always warms me up. So, since it's still snowy out, I'm gonna make a bright sunny flower. These are the flowers that I usually put on my hats. Um, really, really, really basic. So you start with your slip knot and you chain five, two, three, four, five. Right? So you got your chain. And you're going to link it up with the first, first chain, and you're going to slip stitch so that you've got like a little circle, a hole to work through, okay? This is sort of the middle of your flower. Then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four. Oops, how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to, uh, you know what, I'm going to slip stitch back into the main circle and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the main circle and just kind of keep holding on to it. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch. And I'm going to make this a five petal flower because I like odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch. Pachow. All right, so there's my five petal starts. Um, and into each of these, I'm actually going to create a petal. So you're not going to do anything more with this row. You're just going to work right into the first of the five petals. And you're going to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet and you're going to triple crochet five times so that's one two three four and five and just to make sure you've got enough room to finish off this petal you're going to hold your work and grab the base of that last triple and just pull it to the to the right then you're going to do a double and a half and a single and boom you've got your first petal so it looks like that now you're going to do the exact same thing into the next circle so single half double five triples Oops, that's one, two, and three, and four, and five, pew, and then pull it, double crochet, half double crochet, and single. All right, that's two. Two done. You got three more to go. Single, half, double, triple. It's one triple. I'm gonna pull out some yarn here. Ooh. Two triples. Whoa. <laughs> Three triples. Whoops. <laughs> Four triples. <laughs> Five triples. A whole snowbank is just going to get up and move now. <laughs> double. Half double. It's insulted. I get a film. Single. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of snow right there. <laughs> I don't think it's going to move for our little horn. <laughs> Half. Well. Two triples. Three triples. 
four triples and five triples. Get myself some yarn. Double, half double, single. And the last one, here we go. One, single, half double, double. Five triples. One. Oops, split my yarn. Darn it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I love triple crochet. It's like the biggest stitch. Actually, that's a lie. It's not the biggest stitch, but it's a doozy. Double. Half. Oops. And single. All right. There's your five petals. Now, I'm just going to make this a super fancy. I'm going to slip stitch and fasten off. Give myself a tiny wee tail, which I will weave in later along with that one. And I'm going to go ahead and make a second row. And I think, I think I'm going to use this fabulous turquoise. So I'm going to make a slip stitch. Now I'm going to join this into the back of my flower. And actually I'm going to join it. See, you see where I, every time I made my five ring or my five stitches, I would come back into the center and there's like, these two little stitches. I'm just going to attach it to that and I'm going to work through those. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm going to slip stitch to join. There, see I slip stitched it into those two stitches. Now instead of five, I'm going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, whoops, try four again. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, I love that turquoise. And I'm going to slip stitch into those two, where those two flowers join the center. So I'm going to slip stitch there. And I'm going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing. I'm going to slip stitch into those. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, it's like iridescent, this stuff. And into this one. And one more set of seven. Seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we should turn the car on and get some heat going. I think it's starting to cool down. <laughs> you want to honk the horn again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's switch this. Ah. I think I will do. All right. Okay, so I've made my base. I have seven, or I'm sorry, chain seven, five of these little petal things. And I'm going to do exactly what I did with the first row. So I'm going to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. Now instead of doing five triples, I'm going to do seven triples. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, this is even nice and soft. I really love this. A double crochet, half double crochet, and a single. And that is 
your first petal. So now imagine this, you're going to have five of these beautiful turquoise petals underneath these bright yellow ones. So when I'm finished that, it'll be a nice big palm sized flower. And then I'm going to create a fancy little doohickey for the middle. And then um, I'm probably going to attach it to a headband. So I'm just going to hurry up and finish this. And I will talk to you guys. <laughs> gosh this is so pretty I love scrap projects <gasps> I'm so gonna wear this in my hair okay hang on I got to just cut that fasten off okay before I go any further I'm gonna weave in those ends because now they're starting to annoy me Damn, you move fast <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in on the thing <laughs> I am half cat meow meow I just stick those bits in well, anywhere. See what's going on, eh? Okay, so just I'm just grabbing the tail of the yarn and I'm I'm just tucking it in anywhere it'll go. So you know what? I might just trim that little last bit. Careful not to snip anything important, like your fingers or the pretty little flower you just made. Oh, that is so cute. You know what else would be really cute? Hey, hold still. A button. For one second. <laughs> For one second. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to just weave this little guy in. All right. Okay, so shall I crochet a center or shall I stick a button in the middle of it? Because yeah. I'm going to wear this in my hair, so you know what? I'm going to go with the button. And I just happen to have a pile of my favorites with me. <laughs> magical bag. <laughs> magical bag. This magical bag on my lap. There are a whole pile of pretty little things. Oh, there's another tail i got to weave in. Oh, the seat, I'm telling you. I wish I could take this heated seat to work. <laughs> People be like, gee, JD is like such a good mood. I know. <laughs> you look toasty. You look I know. Relaxed and <laughs> calm. Yeah. Yeah, that's really unlike you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you do is calm. No, no. <laughs> Nothing I do is calm. This is about as calm as it gets, making a flower. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Very nice. <gasps> so cute. Okay, so. Now, if you're gonna, this has so much potential. You can put it on clothes. You can turn it into a brooch. You can turn it into a hair bread. You can turn it into something to go on your hat. Um, on fact, I'm gonna make a whole set and I'm gonna put them on my leg warmers, like right on the side, cause that would be just so cute. Um, you can crochet a, a little bobble for the middle, or you can use a button, or a bunch of beads, or a big wooden bead, or you can use, um, oh my gosh, even like a little charm or a trinket or something. Just pretty much anything you could possibly think of. Hole, but so what I'm gonna do oh yeah yeah absolutely that turns it into a piece of jewelry just like that and another thing that would be really cute is if you put little beads like little pearl beads speckled or maybe even like little glass ones all the way around um, then all of a sudden you could do this flower in black and white and then put pearl beads on it and all of a sudden you've got something that's that's almost like proper for a fancy meal uh, I mean to like to wear not to eat obviously um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and sew that in, and um, next time you see me, I'll probably be wearing it in my hair. Thanks!